to welcome Chef Gabriel De Leon from Media from Scratch. Now you've got two locations in the Correct. Metroplex. Two, two locations, one in Grapevine and the other in Plano. Uh, and this morning we are taking quesadillas to the next level. What level, Dan? Well, what level? Well, it's, it's a certain level that, well, I'm going to let Gabriel give me the name of these quesadillas again. Uh, quesadillas de Huitlacoche. Right, there you go. Yeah, what, Dan what, couldn't what, have said it better. <laughs> what he said. Give me that, what's that, what is that term again? Huitlacoche. Ah, okay, good. I'm glad we cleared that up. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. Uh, let's get, let's get to it. All right, so, we've got some onions already sauteing mm -hmm. here. And if you're asking what is huitlacoche, uh, it's basically a uh, corn fungus. Uh, really? Absolutely. Mm. It, uh, it grows in Mexico, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a delicacy. It's also known as a Mexican truffle. Okay. okay. If you look at it, here it is. Okay. Wow. Well, that almost looks like a, a, like a, like a spinach. There. Uh -huh. And right. the term okay. you used, if I heard you correctly, was corn, corn fungus. Corn fungus. Here in the U.S., it's known as a corn smut. Okay. okay. So, uh, you okay. know, farmers actually here destroy it because it uh, ruins their crops mm -hmm. and it tears up their farming uh, equipment. All right. So we got our wheat la coche in here. All right. Next, we're going to do a little cilantro. A little epazote. Epazote is a very pungent herb. We use this in a lot of uh, stews, soups, and beans. We're getting some great ingredients that you're not going to, you know, you're not right. going to find. Absolutely. You know, we like what you can find pretty much anywhere, any kind of a, a Mexican grocery store. Okay. All right. So here we have our uh, blue corn tortillas that we make in-house. We have uh, asadero cheese. Asadero is basically uh, tastes like a mixture of goat cheese and mozzarella. Okay. All right, very pungent. All right. Right. So we're going to put a, maybe a tablespoon. So there's a lot of bold flavors. Absolutely. This we can say. Yeah. I, you know, the best way I would describe uh, we like coche, it's uh, earthy, it's sweet, uh, it's a mixture, it tastes like a mixture of uh, corn and uh, mushrooms. And it might go well with a beer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Not, you just theoretically. Gabby special if you're talking to me, all right? Tim's so. going out to live there. <laughs> I think beer might be a good accompaniment. All right. Uh -huh. So we're going to take our quesadillas here. And we're going to stack them. So we're going to go vertical. I love the layering. There we go. Thank you. Just helping you out there, Chef. Absolutely. So uh, you're right on Main Street in Grapevine and the Tollway and uh, Dallas North Tollway and Parker in Plano. And, and it is made from scratch is a bold promise. Absolutely. We that, that adds a lot of work to your day. Absolutely. We, uh, we're a scratch kitchen. And everything is made in house. Get a little, oh, okay. Okay. And a little more. So we're going to hit it with a little New Mexico red. That's uh, right. You add the the flavors of uh, the hatch chili absolutely. flavors. Absolutely, we specialize in it. A little green. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Top it off with some crema, some creme fraiche. And a little cilantro. And there you is. go. From Media from scratch in uh, Grapevine and in Plano, Wheat La Coche Quesadillas. There you go. Thank and you, Chef. Thank you. Thanks Thank you, for Chef having me. Gabrielle. Thank you. And we'll be right back.